insufficient ground transportation, religious obligations, and outstanding payments were cited as reasons for the cancellation of tours for over 300 cruise ship passengers over the weekend. With more than 70 cruise ships confirmed for the 2023-24 season, the Port Taxi and Maxi Federation Association defended its inability to meet the demand for tours. More in this report from Candice Jackson. The celebrity silhouette arrived at the Scarborough Harbor on Saturday with over 2,000 passengers, marking the first of more than 70 cruise ship calls expected for the season, the highest in over two decades. Unfortunately, disappointment awaited over 300 passengers as the on-island tours were cancelled due to a shortage of buses. President of the Port Taxi and Maxi Federation Association, Floyd Williams, cited religious obligations as one of the reasons for this unavailability. On, on weekends, we have um, the challenge of um, many folks are committed to their religious group that both Sunday and Saturdays. But even apart from that, it's not a new story. All right? Additionally, the association secretary, Knowlton Roberts, claimed that they are owed payments totaling $80,000 for previous seasons by the cruise ship agent, Cavallo's agency. He said to me, don't talk about that now. I said, but we must talk about it because it's, it's money owing to the association and the members know and they, they need to get paid. said, um, we'll see to that when the season, in, during the season. I said, Mr. Carroll, we promised us last season that you're going to pay out all the bills by the end of the season. The season ended and you're still owing us this amount of money. Tobago Updates reached out to Carvalho's agencies for a response. However, their secretary informed us that they had already provided a statement to another media house. They refused to offer any further comments or address any of the accusations made by the maxi taxi drivers. In the meantime, Williams noted that there is a problem with the demand for cruise ship tours surpassing the availability of buses. But the point is that we have a ship of over 2,000 um, folks and whatever transport was here, it was inadequate. He blamed the situation on the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation. My issue is that if the Tourism Division of Tobago House Assembly is promoting tourism all around the world and you have a shortfall within the system where ground transport have a problem, it doesn't make sense. Why not? It doesn't cut it, right? So the Tourism Division will have to play a more primitive role in tourism trailer in Tobago. The division responded, acknowledging the need for damage control. They issued an apology to the cruise line and provided gift bags to the affected passengers. Secretary Tashia Boris stated that they are implementing measures to prevent such incidents in the future. She added that while the THA is not responsible for cruise ship tour transportation, any potential harm to the destination will be taken seriously with active steps to minimize future occurrences. The division noted each stakeholder's vital role in the industry growth and the economy, viewing the situation as an opportunity for improvement. Despite the unfortunate experience for some, several hundred passengers enjoy tours through the available 20 buses. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.